Let's hear from a company directly involved in this process of connecting international buyers and sellers. United National Consumer Supplier helps retailers for, uh, find retailers overstocked goods or can track down hard to find products. They do that by connecting a vast network of suppliers handling all of these deliveries. They've got Macy's, BJ's, Marshall's, Walgreens, and even Amazon as customers. Let's bring in UNCS CEO Brett Rose. Brett, it's great to have you here. Welcome. Nice to see you again, Kelly. And sorry I didn't bring my Care Bear. <laughs> Why we've chosen the Care Bear to be <laughs> to make this journey? I noticed the company there we interviewed also had Tonka Truck, and I'd be curious about that one as well. What what can you tell us, Brett? Um, is the pulse? So when Courtney talks about toy deflation, is it everywhere? Are the hot items still holding price? Well, look, the hot items always going to hold its price, but I think she was spot on in discussing the fact that it's really category based. We're two weeks off of a almost ten billion dollar Black Friday up 7.5% last year. We're two weeks off a $12.5 billion Cyber Monday. Retail is doing really well. And all things reported and everything is looking, this is going to be one of the greatest you know, holiday shopping but, seasons. Okay. This is the conundrum, exactly what you're saying, which is, you know, on the one hand, this Care Bear, you can get it for 10 bucks on Amazon from $25 a couple years ago. And on the other hand, we're seeing the aggregate numbers still continuing to grow. So it seems like there's pressure maybe on each ticket item, but the consumers overall are spending more than last year. There's no denying, right? A consumer is really smart now because they walk in and they're shopping with this. There was 120 million consumers over Black Friday weekend that walked into the store. 200 million purchases were made online. It's a little hard to tell how many of those consumers finished the purchase on their smart device but walked in the stores. Listen, I, I think there's no, there's no denying the strength of Amazon and other online retailers, but brick and mortar is still alive and, and very well and thriving. Which items are in short supply and which are overstocked? Yeah, so it depends on the day of the week, right? There, there's a there's a short supply this year of seasonal. I think coming off the COVID cliff, retailers kept it very tight to the cuff. You see a lot of empty spaces on shelves with holiday merchandise. Um, regardless of the holiday season, that the, the holiday that you celebrate, there's a shortage right now. There's no shortage of toys. There's a massive influx in the market. Why is there such an influx? Yeah, you know, there was a lot of inventory left over last year. Wall Street got really nervous and the street panicked when there were high inventory levels. So what happened was traditional brick and mortar retailers pulled back a lot of orders, which caused a huge glut in the market of bikes, um, toys, houseware, hardware, really higher levels than we saw in the past. But it was great because it ended up spilling over into the off price market. And really, if there's one thing we learned, especially this holiday season, is lower prices. Care Bear is a great example. That's what drive the consumerism. Yeah. So, you know, the, the extra goods in the market drove the price down and stayed ahead of inflation, which translated to a great opportunity for the consumer. Because despite higher prices everywhere, certain consumable goods stayed at or below the normal market. A quick last question. How is the arrival of, of sites like or apps like Shein and Timu affecting the supply chain and the retail kind of network that you've been involved with? It's not. There's always going to be a new HUD app, and some will absolutely have staying power and some won't. I think the one thing that a lot of brick-and-mortar retailers did during the pandemic is really morphed into the multi-channel experience. So now apps like that are competing with Walmart and Target and Marshalls and Ross and Five Below and Dollar Tree, who all now have a great online and app presence. That's interesting, though, because I would have thought the, you know, the sheer amount that people are ordering straight from the factory at places like Chien and Timu is a different experience that, you know, they run lean inventories. It, it seems like it would maybe undermine some of what a business like yours does with trying to connect goods to where they're most needed and things like that. There's always going to be a need to walk into a store. There's always going to be a need to walk into a mall. I, you know, my mom's a great consumer. She will never buy something offline that's coming directly from overseas. She wants to walk into the store and see it, and maybe she'll consummate the deal on, online on her phone, but ultimately she wants to know what she's buying. And I think that's what you give up a little bit when you use some of those apps.